All right, let's do a quick review of The Flash. <laughs> you think I'm kidding. Let's do it. Let's get nuts. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we are talking about The Flash No Way Home. I'm shit. The Flash is the original DCEU's final film following Barry Allen as he travels back in time to save his mother and the fallout because of it. It stars Ezra Miller, Michael Keaton, Ben Affleck, and Sasha Cow. I'm not gonna lie, I actually found this movie pretty enjoyable, kind of entertaining. It was really fun, had some funny moments, and really great fan references. And as much as I don't want to say it, a lot of the humor and great parts of this movie did come from Ezra Miller, and I hate to say it because of how much I think that they are a trash person, much like most other people do, especially considering what Warner Brothers did to Johnny Depp in Fantastic Beasts, and how hypocritical they're being by not doing the same thing to Ezra Miller. However, if I just have to say, for this movie particularly, Ezra Miller did do a pretty great job I thought that the emotional moments, the funny moments, all were pretty much there. There is some of that awkward stuff that I don't really love about Ezra Miller. I don't, just, I just don't really like Ezra Miller. But I thought that they did a pretty good job in this movie. Michael Keaton as Batman was fucking amazing. It was awesome. It just, it was as good as I wanted it to be. That's mostly why I went to see this movie. But there were so many great sequences with him in the role. So many cool bat things and bat stuff. More of the bat shape to everything. And it just kind of proves that he is one of the best if not arguably the best live action batman considering how well it holds up not just in the 80s movies but now bringing him back into the modern superhero movies the modern concepts these modern superhero universes and it still works really well and he still steals the movie supergirl was also very cool there wasn't too too much with her but i i really did like her i thought she was pretty badass and you know a superman for me is kind of a very generic boring superhero not my favorite by any means but i thought she was pretty cool for this one as for the story i actually thought it was pretty well paced i liked a lot of the themes that went into it there was a lot of really cool concepts that they showed visually and, and how they showed it was really cool it was really interesting and it got to a point towards the end where i actually had no idea where it was going to go from there because it kind of reached where i thought okay this is where it's going to end and then it kept going and it i was like i have no idea what to expect from here so that was pretty cool my middles are two things that i don't want to think about too much the first one is the timeline stuff honestly Honestly, it might work. I don't really know. There was a lot of timeline stuff that happened in this movie. And of course, we get our very pivotal, this is how time works scene that we have to have in every time travel movie. But I also think that even if I did think about it a lot, I just don't feel like a lot of it would really make that much sense. I, I could be wrong. It could be just me being stupid. But I do think that a lot of it just doesn't, it just doesn't gel. But also, I don't really want to think about it too much because it ruins the movie. The other thing I don't want to think about too much, which is not anything against this movie in particular, it's just that it, it does kind of suck that this movie was pretty good for the DCEU, but it's not going to go anywhere because the DCEU is done. This is the last one, and it just kind of feels pointless at this point. So why am I supposed to care? So that did kind of suck considering the movie actually was pretty cool. So it's nothing against this one, but just overall, it, it just sucks. Also, this might be a middle for me, but it might be a low for some people. It is kind of long. It's like two hours and 24 minutes, and I was actually surprised how long it did feel as I was watching it, but I was entertained all the way through, so. My only big low is pretty much the one that everybody's talking about is the, the CGI. It is downright creepy in spots. It is completely unfinished, and I was seeing this in IMAX, so I was freaked because you had just AI faces in your face, and it was it was a lot. I was really creeped out. I was a little scared at some points. I understand maybe where they were coming from in terms of, oh, we did this on purpose to make it look a little bit weird and not exactly sure what's going on, but it doesn't mean that it's good. And I don't really think it was a good idea in the beginning to make it look not completely there, considering what they used it for. And just a lot of other sequences where it definitely did need to look like good CGI, and it just... Mm. Overall, The Flash was actually a pretty fun and enjoyable movie, and I had less issues with it than I thought I would, although it is still far from perfect, and it really just makes me wish that the DCEU blended together much better and didn't try to be a big Marvel wannabe mess. But as its own movie on its own, if I don't think about some of the more complex elements a little bit too much, it was a pretty fun and nostalgic time. However, I will say I did get to see this movie sort of for free with the A-list stubs thing at AMC. Uh, but I would not give money to this movie because of Ezra Miller. I, I just wouldn't and how Warner Brothers treated the whole situation. So maybe wait until it's free if you're even planning on seeing it. I'm going to give The Flash a three out of four. Well, guys, that was my very quick review on The Flash. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of The Flash, if you're even going to see it. And actually, uh, let me know what you think about these quicker reviews, because, you know, it would help me in terms of editing to get more videos out. And as always, keep your hopes high, your stress low, and movies right in the middle. I'll see you guys later.